What up? This is July Kickback Couture. I got a request uh, today. So actually, it was yesterday, considering when this video is going to come out on um, how to save CPU and import your synth, um, essentially your synth WAV files into the NNXT so that you can play them there instead of in your uh, CPU eating synthesizer. So I'm um, not going to use a CPU eating synthesizer because it's basically the same principle but um what you want to do is record the note that you know you're going to use or the notes that you know you want to use um honestly if you don't know just a few notes will suffice i would do um uh, here i'm just gonna show you so i'm going to record a c so here we go. We've let that die out a little bit. Now I'm going to bounce this in place. Now I have my note. What I'm gonna do with this is name it. So add labels to clips, and this is a C, just so I can keep track of it when I'm in my song samples, creating the NNXT patch. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is record maybe a G. So gonna get rid of this one. And actually, I don't have to go through the whole recording process. I'll just drag this up here, bounce in place. Here I have my G. Awesome. Let's go a C below, or the G below, actually. And the reason I'm doing uh, more than one note is because um, pitch shifting isn't always accurate and I'm gonna show you the difference in those in a second. And I'm gonna call this one G below. Don't have to be specific with the names like uh, G2, or nothing like that. Um, so this, this is what happens. So, this is the C right here. This is what it sounds like, just as a reminder. Right, okay, so if I was to pitch shift this C to this G, let's see what it sounds like. So that's what the G sounds like. So this C needs to go up to C sharp, whoops, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. Seven half steps. So this is what the G sounds like transposed to a C or pitch shifted. Whoops, wrong one. I'm supposed to play this one. Do you hear the artifact in that? Kind of sucks. So that's why you record um, multiple multiple um, auditions of the instrument you want to play different notes uh, you don't have to do all of them but it is best that you do a good amount of them so that you don't get artifacts when you're pitch shifting your samples and importing them into the NNXT so I'm going to bring this back down and we're going to see what it sounds like in the NNXT and using the NNXT's pitch shifting capabilities as we know that the NNXT rather than um, rather than pitch shifting and keeping the same length it shortens depending on how high you go the higher you go the shorter the sample is and the lower you go the longer the sample is so it's not accurate either so let's go ahead and bounce these two new samples so that we can add them to an NNXT patch. 
and they are all named as I did name them with the clips. So we're going to create an NNXT. Go back to the song self-contain samples and we're going to drag this in and just right click set root notes to pitch detection and it is at C3 so that's what it sounds like and it automatically pitches it by itself. So I'm playing a C right now. Obviously it's going to be what was recorded from here. Just uh, quieter because the volume settings are different. So we could turn that up a little bit just so Alright, so this is a G coming from the source, and this is a G coming from the NNXT. Now you can hear how different that is, but um, if you don't really care, then I guess this is a good option for you. If not, then you're going to want to go through and bounce out every note, and that is really tedious considering how, how effective and accurate um, a doll like FL Studio or Ableton Live would be. Um, that's pretty much how you would do that if you wanted to bounce out your synths. You would have to deal with the fact that it's not going to be accurate. Which, I mean, the average listener wouldn't be able to tell that there's artifacts in your samples. So, it is all preference. So, I'm right clicking and, whoops, adding zones. Got the C, G, the G above, and I'm going to set root notes to pitch detection. And then um, I could have did all of that at once and then did it, just hold shift to select all of them. But I already did it, so what I want to do is make sure, whoops, these are fitting with their corresponding note. I keep changing all of them on accident. So this is that C and this is that G above. So we're going to move this one. Here. And we're going to move this one here. Oh Lord. Pretty annoying. There we go. You can tell I haven't done this in a while. Great. Cool. So everything is where it's supposed to be. Now, what you want to do is drag these out however far you want them, depending on the samples you use, so that the individual sample will be pitch shift throughout the the zones you set it for. So I'm just going in between covering what is empty. So this is what a low C sounds like. So this is C2 based off the pitch shifting. This is C2 based off the source. Completely different. Um, it could be more or less accurate if we go to notes closer. So let's try this, this uh, C sharp right here. That's from the source. That is from the sample being pitch shifted. So uh, you can obviously hear the difference. Um, if you wanted to go through all that and bounce everything out, you could. Um, you've heard the, the artifacts from both pitch shifting and the sequencer and the NNXT is completely up to you. CPU is very valuable, so this is very time consuming also. So um, it's kind of a lose-lose a situation trying to save CPU with the NNXT. Um, however, someone did request this, so I am showing him how to do that. Um, it is very beneficial to know how to do this because, uh, like I said, the average listener can't tell the artifacts artifacts in your samples however we as producers can tell and um it kind of takes away from 
the quality of the sound overall. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Tell the propeller head team to step it up. If uh, if you feel like they need to step it up, we got to be 100% honest with them and give them feedback and let them know what we would like to see and reason in the future. So um, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications for my future videos. If you want any private lessons or like anything like that, hit my, um, my contact form on my website. I'll have that in the uh, description. And um, it's all culture.